Hello my friends, it's episode 9 of Shadow Empire. <clears throat> right, let's uh, let's get our decisions done on this turn. We played a little bit of this turn last time. There has been a bit of an incident. It's always your, uh, whoever's your researchers are. It's funny that, you know, um, the guy who actually is the leader of the faction that this guy belongs to is actually denouncing his own guy here. Which is pretty funny. We have somehow become autocratic. It, autocratic enforcement is exactly what I wanted, but we ended up becoming heart because uh, it was just decisions that pushed us that way. Let's go with production. So yeah, there's all these science. There's all these councils that you can you can get, and applied science would be important at some point. Um, as for the other ones. I try and live without them for as long as I possibly can. Yes, sir. These shadow cultists. Oh, look, we got this event twice. Aye, aye, sir. We're over 70 points in autocracy, so we might actually get some nice cards now. You can actually check that. Here we go. Martial law. Oh, I, I don't have the appropriate councils for them. Not that they're very helpful. Suppress so unrest is really useful. <laughs> firing squads. Most of these are... Uh, this uh, efficiency drive is a really good card. But once again, I need the interior... I need the interior council for that one. So, in order to get those cards, you gotta gotta get those councils. But it's gonna slow down research, and it's gonna slow down. Well, mostly research, to be fair. <laughs> mostly research. Still haven't seen an artifact yet. You think with a level three recycling center we would have seen some artifacts by now? Wow, 
I mean, the level 3 recycling center is actually only just finished now, to be fair. Uh, how long... What I really need to know is how long... Solar energy is nearly done. That's quite useful, actually. That solar energy will solve my energy needs forever. Because you build it with rare metal. The number of workers required is quite low as well. What I really want to know is... How much longer until that tank model is finished? Hmm. Nothing. Well, there's definitely no raw metal around, but <clears throat> we can... We can definitely, uh... I don't know if I should be pushing attacks right now. I'm trying to wear these guys down. See you on the other side. That GR grade infantry. Doing well. The funny part is, of course, when my men die, they'll be a lot of them are the old Mark One type guards, and they will be replaced with the new Mark Two type guards. And many of them are even still the old GIs. <laughs> the Type Two guards are hugely superior to the uh, to the old infantry that I used to have. So. I may end up raising another infantry regiment and just pushing it forward. I still don't have the best industrial production. To be brutally honest. But as I mentioned before, the production of a... Uh, uh, an industrial factory is like 1,500 metal. That's a lot of metal. <clears throat> Gotta balance it out. These two resources you're gonna spend most of your time balancing them out, metal and industrial points. At some point, I'm going to have to hit this guy. But let's see if we can clear away this mess first. Speaking of this mess, I have a couple of spy cards. Maybe I can find out what's going on here. Copy that. Copy that. Hey, two critical successes. I'm going to know. I'm going to know everything about them and their dental records next turn. forward just so that it's nice and tidy and also I can then better see this I don't want to push through this territory it's nice that it's like this because when you touch an NPC and I don't know if there's an NPC there but there could be when you touch them they'll come rushing over to deal with you wow the radiation here is 
incredible. Seven hundred and thirty rad. Oof. Hashtag melting faces. It'd be nice to have this bit here and just have a nice wall here, but anyway. I've got a gap here as well. Well, every day I recruit more men, so... There's definitely a potential for uh, another infantry regiment. Let's not go too crazy with the purchasing. Every day, we purchase more men for the glorious cause. hell of a sea. That's amazing. <clears throat> I could pull the resources of a galaxy out of that sea. <clears throat> I mean this, you know, this was good. I saw this and I was like, oh yeah, sweet. Ruins right next to a sea. And then I saw this up here and I thought it was worth extending just to get that. Now this is like, this is the mother load, this. This is all neutral territory. That my spies have discovered there. That's the thing, it's very difficult to attack with infantry. You're... You're honestly not really meant to use them in the attacking role, but you're forced into it early. Lots and lots of light tanks are truly the way forward to attack. You know, do attacks where you don't actually have to have overwhelming numbers to win. That was a mistake. I lost 200 GIs there, but no guards. <clears throat> and I really don't mind if the old school GIs get killed. They will be replaced by superior guards. Now I can actually replace them manually, but it's better to use them up, as it were. Use them up on the front line and trickle superior troops into the front line over time, rather than uh, then just send them all back to the SHQ. You can disband them and get the get the men back, and then re-equip them. Um, but it's often not worth it. We killed nine hundred infantry and lost two hundred. That seems like a good trade. Hey, the tank is ready. And we found a Gravitronic Collector. Sweet. What a great piece of... What a great... What a great artifact to first dig out. Oh, the corporation's asking for a subsidy again. Eh, it's not a big ask. 200 credits. Yes, I'll give it to them just to keep them sweet. Copy yeah, that's that. fine. Alright, let's check out the structural design of this tank. Before we go crazy. Hey, structural design, 111. Sweet. This B design can be improved over time. One amusing way to improve the B design is to actually just redo the tank. 
Build upon the tank, but build it exactly the same way. <clears throat> but that's great. That's a that's a that's a really nice, really nice high score there. So that's perfect. So what that means is I don't see I could build upon Crusader and then just build it exactly the same way to try and improve the uh, the its other scores, but we could field test a lot of these first. <clears throat> now what that means is we should now have an opportunity here to build a new uh, buggy. Copy that. And hopefully get one that's not aye, aye, sir. got horrible um, stats. Landing territory, who is that? Who is landing territory? Is that this guy's? Okay. Their friendship would be nice, but they haven't got a uh, they haven't got a sea. Oh wow, they have a town called Freedom. They also have the cyber robot. Ha! Huh, they have a town. Uh, sure, why not? I actually wouldn't mind having an extra 1,800 population. Alright, tank battalion. 49% of a full strength one. Crusader tank responding. Let's go. Oh, for crying out loud. I had the freaking machine guns selected. There's no way to undo that. I can strat move them back. There we go. Good old strat move. You are there in my time of need. Kill him. Okie dokie. <clears throat> That's seven strength. Um, seven strength uh, Galactic Republic troops. Uh, it's really, really powerful. <laughs> really nice piece of kit. As long as I provide plenty of bodies to absorb fire, they'll get the kills for me. I suppose I could hit here too. Not the greatest odds on that one. If I could break through and take the city, they would all disappear, these guys. The real question is, is uh, do I want to take a city that's so far away? Okay, parks are building here, that's good. Ah, look, the, the cultural adaptation score is starting to climb now. So these, these guys are actually becoming loyal and they'll become a proper city soon. Um, since this this town has got the viewpoint and so its loyalty is actually climbing up in the background as well. I should have a word with the old gubernator. 
Understood. I should make this a regular Understood. zone. Should grow pretty steadily and pretty quickly now. Okay. Plenty of industrial. Well, not plenty of industrial points. What I need to do is build up my metal. Hundred and twenty five times two. It's quite a lot. Still got my command center building, but that's only fifty per turn. There's only four K scavenging left in this hex, so it's not really worth upgrading. You can see here that this is coming down fast now. Since we're pulling three, four, five, six, <clears throat> we're pulling about 600 out of the ground per turn. The next move would probably be to upgrade this one again. The only thing I would say is that I'm hoping to get a factory soon. It's been it's been really late. <clears throat> and I'm not going to get that factory if I keep building metal mines. At some point I'm going to have to swallow the bullet and actually I'm going to have to swallow the bullet and actually uh, start building a factory. And that sucks, <clears throat> but it has to be done. Of course, both metal and industrial points can be produced infinitely. <clears throat> the building that does it for metal is called a, a soil demetallization plant or something, and um, obviously the factory produces infinite industrial points. It's just that those two buildings are just incredibly expensive. Oh, excuse me. One has to worry about what the what the nemesis is out there doing. Getting bigger, faster, better, stronger at my expense. <clears throat> at least all these nice cities are connected by roads here. There's no roads coming out of this place which would indicate to me that there's no other towns nearby and same for this one and I think potentially same for this one so once I've uh, gotten these three towns that might be the limits of towns I can capture oh they went for it I don't think that was the best move but dead NPC factions have got no chance at this point because you're starting to get technology where you just over you're just better than them. You just overwhelm them. If I take this town, it then becomes critical to take this one too because it's obviously it's in my way. But it's nice that they stayed peaceful. I would like to take them peacefully, but it's not going to happen. Uh, least of all of which I don't want to split my bureaucratic points with a freaking foreign affairs council, so. We killed a thousand infantry, ten tanks, and we lost a hundred infantry. Ouch. The raiders, they, uh. 
it got brutalized there. You see here, look, I'm up to a thousand metal now. And my industrial points have jumped up as well. Here it is, the factory. 1,500 metal blown away for the chance to obtain just 50 output. But what else can you do? What else can you do? You need those points. Of course, you know, you get lucky with light industry. Level 2 light industry is giving me 68 points, and I didn't even have to pay for them. That is the glory of light industry. Incident with the joke gone wrong. Just ignore. Economic Council, Military Research, Military Design, Supreme Command Council. Okay, that's fine. Discovery and Research, 45% each. Let's just double check my technology situation right now. <clears throat> so solar energy is nearly done. One, two, three, four, five. I've actually discovered five things, but not researched them yet. So let's, oh, freaking hell, hold, hold, uh, let's um, reduce discovery to 35%, confirm. Discovered technology is one thing, but you need to actually research technology <clears throat> for it to be useful. Okay, so these these tanks were um, sent to the front line using strat move. They currently have low readiness. Nevertheless, they should win this fight pretty solidly here. If we can break a hole in the raiders, we can just take their town and it will just be over in an instant. <laughs> Including the tank in the attack actually lowers my odds of success. I'm going to presume because... their terrible morale. Yep. That's fine, boys. Get in there. Okie dokie. Another massacre caused by the galactic grade infantry. Oh, 
I should be able to very soon just produce another infantry brigade and add tanks to it. That's so misleading when you build a unit and then it's like, oh look, you can move and it's actually selected your, your defenders. But I can strat move it there. And so that is what I will do. Okay, we're pushing them back. We should wait there. These guys took some losses, but I think it was GIs that died. And finally, we have a leader who doesn't die at the first sign of combat. Who doesn't mysteriously die from... Uh... Oh, a militia regiment has appeared. It's so weird how they just appear out of nowhere sometimes. One thousand two hundred whirlwinds and one thousand two hundred GIs. Wow, it's actually a pretty good militia regiment that's just appeared out of nowhere. Come on down. Uh, but yeah, it's, you know... I totally forgot what I was going to say now, thanks to those militia. <laughs> Totally okay to grind out the, the GIs there. Once those tanks are actually ready for combat, they'll be able to push for me. Of course, potentially with a road here, if this were to break and make a space, if there's truly no defenders there, we could just race in and grab that, and that would be GG. Then I'd have this... I'd have poor Frius totally surrounded. What's the situation with Rare Earth? Pretty cheap right now. Making 400 metal per turn. Currently building high command and nothing else. Wow, this recycling center is actually really pulling the stuff out of the ground. Damn, two high-tech parts per turn. One hundred twenty-five times two. Yes, sir. Let's upgrade this recycling first and then we'll consider let's upgrade that recycling first and then we will consider um... uh, building our factory that we require copy that copy that Copy that. Might as well put these priests on these tank regiments. Copy that. Two is about the most that you'd get any benefit from. All right. So this, um, it doesn't tell you what it does here, but I know what it does. 
He gives you 500 energy. Meaning that your need to produce a power plant just goes away. Forever. Because 500 energy is a lot <laughs> to just get for free. Lost and incomprehensible technology indeed. I could probably be on the attack here as well if I wanted to, but it's really going to stretch my supply line badly. Considering that my capital is here, I actually really need to um, take this bottom area and then declare war on my good friends here. And take them too. And then just take this little bit here. So I've got a nice little bubble. And then I can build a proper machine gun wall around it to just make sure that it stays mine forever. <clears throat> now I can produce tanks. Things are going to get easier. And the funny part is, oil would normally be a problem. But considering all the ruins produce oil... I should be able to produce enough oil to actually grease the wheels of, of my tank brigades for a long time. Grease those wheels of progress <clears throat> for a long time. Because these villages are only they're only level one towns, they can only have level one logistics. So I'm gonna have an issue here where my city my main city is developing, 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 but I've only got level one logistics here, 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 uh, and here and here. <clears throat> so at some point I'm gonna have to upgrade these towns. But the thing is when you upgrade them, they're gonna start wanting quality of life stuff. Now, I used a lot of quality of life cards up here in the capital, so it's not such an issue there, but it's going to be an issue everywhere else. Hey, the raiders hit me. I genuinely don't think that they did a lot of damage. I think they actually paid a very high price for those attacks. about four turns to bring the readiness up. Is this this uh, NATO symbol? Isn't that the anti-tank symbol? Is that a freaking anti-tank militia? We killed 300 and we lost 100. We were pushed back, but not a big deal. Solar energy is done. Oh, a cloning facility. Sweet. Another glorious artifact pulled out of the floor. This is crazy, this one. It just produces a thousand people per turn out of nowhere. It's glorious. Ah, oh, Crackdown and Unrest. This is a great card. It literally just kills Unrest without actually uh, any cost. Heavy Industry produces high grade electronics, which I don't need right now. Hospital. These three are all quality of life things. <clears throat> Security gets rid of unrest and danger. Uh, this one, I think, is just purely quality of life, and so is this one. It's like happiness and health quality of life. These are all quite quick to research, because I'm pretty sure they are all basic tech. We'll start with the hospital. But I think these these res these will research fast. Yeah, both the hospital and the barracks are basic tech. So this should research pretty quickly. Vidcom is actually engineering, so that will take a bit longer. Still researching rocketry. 
on the chemistry side, on the military side of things. Metal soil filtration, this is the one. <clears throat> Probably one of the most important things to find. Most important technologies in the game. What is the composition of this? No, it's machine gunners and GIs. All oh, right, so I actually got pushed back, but they did very little damage. Right, let's get the tanks involved. I'm bringing people with low morale because we're going to win this fight and the morale's going to go up. Oh, tanks are just... Tanks are destroying... Oof, brutal. Three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and two kills. Twelve, thirteen. Thirteen hits and two kills from the tanks. As usual, the GR grade infantry also got their got their boot in the door. Oh, no, not you. I think we can squeeze this guy. Eh. Don't get me wrong, I could probably win a lot more fights here. I'm just being careful. It's an abundance of caution, really. Alright, I'm up to 1,200 metal. With the second recycling center building. Pulling 300 out of the ground here, along with every every tasty artifact imaginable. <clears throat> Do you know what? I'm going to move this forward. Um, it's time to build that factory. This is just a pill that we have to swallow at some point. And the thing is, it will get more efficient as we upgrade it. It's getting it, getting it started is painful. But we really have no choice in the matter. We, we need that factory. Because there needs to come a point where you're producing tons of industrial points so that you can build uh, nice roads everywhere. That is a point that just has to come. Let's have a look at that victory overview again. Wow, look at the nemesis go. <laughs> you have to have a victory score higher than 50, while your closest competitor has 25 less than you. That's actually a pretty serious requirement. But it does mean that if he if if they reach fifty and I'm not at twenty five or higher, <clears throat> then uh, then I could just lose instantly. And most of that issue is going to come from planet percentage ownership, which seems to have a very high rating in the victory score. It also looks like Nebelstadt is being destroyed by somebody because this is a quite poor score here. and Only 0.6% of the planet suggests that they are surrounded or close to it. So, yeah. Pushing forward is going to be tricky. It 
It would be nice to just send recon cars out to just plow the land, as it were. All this land here is just open space. Look, this is friggin... that's gonna be the nemesis. Or not. I actually don't see them anymore. Oh, there they are. Yeah, look, they are there a little bit. Oh wow, they're actually here as well. They're actually on the edge of freedom. They are hostile too. No surprise there. I think maybe I would be wise to start hitting freedom harder. Don't produce GIs. Never produce GIs. Never ever produce GIs ever again. Okay, formation raised. Okay, tanks. Change HQ. Third Light Infantry Brigade. Apparently the second Light Infantry Brigade has got spaces. I guess I never assigned it a recon element. I need to get in here and take freedom. That's that's uh it's as simple as that because I'm concerned about the nemesis coming in here and taking it. So so much for caution. Oof. And that is why caution is important. Okay, I've got spares. Wow, they, they were mostly GIs, I think, so... Yeah. Some GIs died. I'll just have to punch through <clears throat> next turn well I'm gonna call it that's it for now I will see you guys next time no one wants to watch this friggin the turn phase anyway so I will see you guys next time I hope you guys enjoyed it